Today I'm going to teach you how to find, how to draw a rectangular prism. And it's a little tricky, but once you learn it, it's easy. Now you have to know how to draw a rectangular prism correctly because it's gonna have problems like this. This is on set 12. And it says, Rebecca bought a pretty box to keep her change in. It is 15 inches by 11 inches, and it is three inches deep. She wants to cover the bottom of the box with felt to keep it from scratching the dresser top. How many square inches of felt will she need? Now, if you don't have a picture of this problem to see, then it's difficult to know what to do because you have to use spatial perception to get this answer. So we're going to learn how to draw a rectangular prism correctly. And this is how you do it. First of all, you've heard of 3D. Do you know what the D stands for in 3D? Anyone? Anybody? Yes. Dimension. Yes. 3D means three dimensions. Do you know what the three dimensions are? Length, width, and height. Yes. A length and a width and a height. So if something only has two, dimen two dimensions, then it only has a length and a width. Therefore, it would be...
rectangular prism, there's a lot of edges on here. Edge, 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 edge. There's four edges on the top. But this edge um, back here, if you're looking at it like this, you can't see it. That's ha, 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 you can't see me. This one back there, you know it's there, but you can't see it. Ha, 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 you can't see me. There's th always three of them that you can't see. And that's the dotted one. If you draw this uh, when you without dotted lines, it makes a weird something. I'll show you. I'm going to draw a cube this time. Stop in the middle. But I'm not based on your dotted this time. No dotted. Watch this. If you do it and they're not dotted, then it makes what's called a necker cube. A necker cube. And if you, they say if you stare at that, keep staring at it, that you'll see it like coming out one way and then it'll flip and come out a different way and it like messes with your brain, messes with your eyes and you see it different ways. If you're seeing it flip, mm -hmm. it's called a Necker Cube and it's called a Necker Cube because this guy named Robert Necker is the one that like discovered it, Necker Cube. But you don't want to draw a Necker Cube because you want to show the dot, the three dotted lines always. So if I'm going to do at all, oh, I should lift it. Now, if I'm going to draw a cube, because you're going to have to draw a rectangular prism and a cube. For the cube, you just draw a square. Dot in the middle. Dot, 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 dot. To the right. Dot, 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 dot. Up. Connect with solid. Solid. Go back to the dot and draw a dotted line. Dot, 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 dot. There's always three dotted lines. And what are they saying? What are the dotted lines saying? Can't see me. Ha, ha, ha. You can't see Cube. All right, done for lesson 12.